So let's look at how we can deposit fiat currency and cryptocurrency onto our Qcoin account here in our Qcoin app. So let's start with fiat currency. So when we go to assets here on the bottom right and then click on deposit, we can change from crypto to fiat. So let's do that. And then we can see all the different fiat currencies that we can deposit onto our Qcoin account. However, it depends on what currency you use, like what depositing methods you can use for these currencies. So let's say for US dollars, we can only use a credit card. And with a credit card, we have a 3% fee for depositing, for example, $100 you're gonna to have to pay $3 as a fee. However, you don't need to sign up for any third party provider. You can simply um, type in all your credit card information here in Qcoin and then pay directly to Qcoin if you are okay with paying the 3% fee. Now for other currencies, for example, for euros, you also have the possibility to use a bank transfer, which obviously is a lot less expensive. So here you pay a 0% fee. So it's basically free to transfer money over using your bank account. So here you can simply click on bank transfer, click on continue, and then just use this information. So you're going to wire money over to this specific bank account. And what's also important is to use this reference note in the reference field of your bank transfer so that they actually know where the money or what Qcoin account the money belongs to. And then after like one or two business days, the money will be in your main wallet here in your Qcoin account. So you're going to see, um, so I have some US dollars, but if you have transferred over euros, you're going to see euros and you're going to see fiat next to it. So it's going to be in your fiat wallet of Qcoin. And now let's look at how to deposit cryptocurrency. So again, we go to deposit right here. We choose the cryptocurrency we want to deposit. So let's say we want to deposit some Solana right here. And then all we got to do is deposit to this specific address that we can see here or simply scan in this QR code. So I simply copy the address right here. And then let's say I want to withdraw from my Binance account. So I'm going to go over to my Binance account. Then I can paste the address in right here. It automatically should recognize that this is the Solana network, as you can see here. Then type in the amount I want to withdraw. Let's say I want to withdraw 0.2 Solana, then click on withdraw right here. Then again, I have to confirm, type in all the two factor authentication codes and so on. And then it will take a couple of minutes until I should see my Solana here in the main account of my Qcoin account.